the Vilshani Orphanage is home to more than 200 physically and intellectually challenged Ukrainians. They're not really orphans. Nearly everyone here was abandoned. Mama. And now Russia's invasion has made their lives even more difficult. The facility is overcrowded after similar shelters in eastern Ukraine were evacuated. Hi. Masha just came from the east. She's alert and bone thin with a trail from tears down her temple. This is not a hospital. They don't do advanced treatments or give much medication. Hi. You've got such a lovely smile. The most we could give was attention, touch, and affection. Catherine lit up when I rubbed her hand. I know you don't want to let me go. I don't want to let you go either. Many are clearly starving for love and their families. My, my. For the last several hours, Vlad here has been calling out to his mother. And it's one of the hardest things you can see because a lot of the kids here have been calling out to mom, mom and dad. My, my. And they're not coming. Vlad's parents fled to Germany as refugees, along with his three healthy siblings. This war has a dark secret. Many able-bodied children were taken out of Ukraine, while the profoundly disabled were often left behind in shelters like this. The director, Bogdan Kakina, says he had to suspend modernization plans because of Russia's invasion. This damn war set back their development, he says. Victims of a cruel biological fate and an outdated medical system, they are now also victims of a war that has left them more isolated than ever. Richard Engel, NBC News, Vilshani, Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.